Welcome to this video. It's Wes. We're going to be in downtown Orange in the circle doing some nighttime street photography and I'm going to be trying out the Fuji X-T4 with the Viltrox 56 millimeter lens. It's an f1.4 lens so we're going to test it out at night. Looking forward to that. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person and if no one has told you that today let me be the first one to tell you that. All right let's mask up. Let's get out there. Careful there. Thank you. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays. I always start with a few warm up shots. There was a nice moon out with some clouds, and so I chose a preset look that was sort of cold or cool for most of these shots. And I found that right away the Viltrox 56 millimeter f1.4 was super sharp. And I remember also being a little disappointed because I, I felt like it was a little grainy or it didn't perform well in the low light. However, I neglected to consider how dark this situation was. But you can see here, the face tracking was pretty spot on. When I went into the circle in downtown Orange, I tried to stay away from the restaurant settings. Although I did take a picture uh, or two just to test the face tracking on the, the Viltrox. But I found that it was too crowded for my taste, and so I um, took some pictures of a barista through the window. Those came out nice. And then I, I headed west down Chapman, and I just wanted to kind of get out of the crowded area. And I found myself wandering into pretty deserted streets. And while I liked the quieter section of town, I knew eventually I'd come back down the main street, and people would be kind of the key subject that I would want to capture because that gives life, that gives emotion, helps people interpret meaning. And so I was walking down the street and I was seeing I was getting further and further away. Um, it's kind of a cool shot of uh, the guy as he came toward me and then right after he passed me, he got the kind of uh, lens flare of the headlights uh, right here. It's kind of a cool shot. And then there was a very cool showroom with some classic cars. So I stopped by the front, took a few pictures but probably my favorite photo out of this, even though when you zoom in, it, it doesn't really hold up, is uh, looking across the street. You can see a reflection of the showroom uh, in the window of the shop across the street. So that was one of my favorites right there. There's a couple alleys here. Seemed interesting. You know, a couple pools of light from the, the street lights that seemed interesting. Uh, and it has, it has a nice urban feel, a little bit of neon right here. I kind of like the blue tones in the, uh, the post-processing. Just capture the mood of the night, kind of a moonlit, Christmassy, uh, city, urban vibe. There's a little residential strip that I wandered into, and so one of the cool shots was there's a recliner or some sort of armchair out on the, on the sidewalk. And so I crossed the street to get a better vantage point, and then I just like how the light hits the front of the house and the chair, and it looks cool and abandoned. Um, just kind of a, a little mood right there. Looks like a set of a movie. And then I headed down to uh, the corner. I knew I was going to head back down to the circle. And I found right when I swung around the corner, there was people staring at me. And so I kind of tucked my camera away and went past them. Um, but I found that these restaurants up here, I don't know if it got that much later since I've been walking, but they were less crowded. And I did eventually find a couple of cool street scenes that I, I thought held up. I like this one, the guy checking his phone while waiting for his food. And then I came across one of my favorite moments, uh, a couple sitting on the curb, just eating ice cream or something. I like it the way the, the light from the store hit their backs. Felt like a little cinematic moment. And then I, I kind of sat down on a, a bench and waited for a little bit, to see what would happen. And I came to the corner and there was a very famous um, scene, a Soda Fountain Cafe, it's been in a lot of movies. And I was trying to capture cars in front of it. I had to open the shutter a little bit to get the motion blur on the cars. And then this guy with the red socks <laughs> headed across the crosswalk. And I was like, I want a picture of those red socks, but he was gone, there's no way to chase him down. That's what I got at the moment. But wait for it, I, I come across them again. So I'm just rounding, this is my final, um, Venture. I look down, see the wreaths in the street, get that one. And then this is kind of my final last leg to the car. And I haven't found anything incredibly impressive. I will put up my top five shots at the end. 
Um, but I'm glad I'm glad I was out there. Um, one, this shot, that was cool. This is the guy with the red socks. I just didn't know it from that view. And then when I round the corner, I see him again. I get this shot and then cropped in. It even looks, holds up. The, these friends seem very happy. That was a nice moment. And then the lady across the street. And all of a sudden, things seem to come alive. Now, this is back by the car in the alley. Just one shot for Instagram of the Fuji X100V. I'm shooting on the Fuji X4, X-T4 this whole time. And the lady right there, what, she came out of her shop while I was taking a picture of the camera. I think I startled her. And so I just said hi. But when I turned back around, she was putting stuff in her car. And I got one last shot that I thought was, was pretty cool. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Here are my top five shots in no particular order. Top five. If you liked any part of this video, please hit the like button. And leave me a comment and let me know your favorite shot from this um, night street photography with the Fuji X-T4. And I will see you in the next video.